High blood pressure strains your heart and your blood vessels and can cause serious medical problems. If you have high blood pressure or your doctor has otherwise recommended that you should be checking your blood pressure on the regular, you might be going to the local pharmacy or even to the doctor to do it. Now though, there's a way to check your blood pressure at home easily and be able to share that information with your physician. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and Withings BPM Connect is an at-home blood pressure cuff that Withings claims is easy to use and highly accurate. Crafted with the help of cardiologists and cleared by the FDA, but as of filming time, not by Health Canada yet, it makes taking your blood pressure and heart rates convenient and it gives you immediate color-coded feedback on its easy-to-read LED display. It also connects seamlessly with the Withings HealthMate app on your phone. In this review, I will dig into what the device can and can't do, how it works, and whether I think it's easy to use. And really heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and give me a sub because it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Have you heard of white coat syndrome? This is where going to see the doctor or a medical professional for tests or readings can actually increase your stress levels, resulting in higher readings. Being able to check your pressure at home using the Withings BPM Connect means that you can stay relaxed in the comfort of your home and get your readings without worrying. The Withings BPM Connect is rechargeable and the company says the battery should last about six months. When it is time to recharge it, you'll just use the micro USB port in the bottom. Getting the device set up is easy enough. You'll set up or log into your Withings HealthMate app account and pair the app to your blood pressure cuff. With that done, you will be able to take a reading. And let's take one now so you can actually see how it works here. So, got the cuff. Uh, the cuff is adjustable and it works for a wide variety of arm sizes. So, depending on how massive your biceps are, uh, this should still be able to fit and mine are not that massive so no worries so you put this on the device here is meant to sort of face to the front front of your arm and the button should go on the bottom end hopefully you guys can still see that and then once it's on you'll tighten the cuff and i am not a medical professional of course so i really hope i'm doing this somewhat right um, but in terms of the actual operation of the unit, it's basically one button, one touch. So you push the button once, and I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see the little LED lights in this display um, on the device, but there are some small lights here that show you what's going on. So once you've pressed the device once, you press it again, and the reading should start. It makes a really kind of, I guess, a low, quiet rumble, um, very quiet. You're not going to Nobody sitting next to you is probably really going to notice what you're doing, if that's a concern. So I'm supposed to be relaxed. I'm supposed to be sitting down with my arm bent for this. Um, so this reading is probably going to be off. But just in terms of how you guys can see what's happening, the cuff's tightening up. The whole reading takes about 30 seconds or so. Um, and then once the cuff releases, which it should do now or in a few seconds, um, the reading is going to come out here on the front of the device. So it does squeeze your arm pretty good. Um, it's just released now and I'm getting the reading <laughs> and it's actually showing that it's kind of like of medium level concern, which is very funny um, because I'm completely not doing this in a relaxed manner. Um, but you get your reading here on the little readout. That information is also going to pop into the app on your smartphone. Now the LED display will show you your numerical readings and also give you a color-coded light that tells you if your blood pressure is normal or up to hypertensive based on recommendations from the American Heart Association. These colors also appear in the app so you can see your full data history. So in theory you can have up to eight users uh, using the blood pressure cuff and they can be added in the app but switching among users is not easy you may think that you can just seamlessly swap between each user but unfortunately it is not that simple each reading taken will be attributed to the last person who used the cuff with no way to change that information once it's actually registered in the app after you've taken a reading there is no way i can see to move that reading from one person's profile inside the app to another's so if you forget to change users in the app before you take a reading or you don't select the correct user on the device after the reading, you are stuck with someone else's readings, potentially messing up your health report and your own health trends.
Now, oddly, you can't seem to select a different user in the app and have the readings just go to that person. You do need to do this on the device, so I'm going to show you how to do it. As soon as the results populate on the armband, click the button once and hold it, and the first user's name should pop up. Hold the button down again until the next name pops up. Use that longer button hold to toggle through however many users you have. Once you toggle to the correct user, click the button again quickly, and a check mark will appear to confirm the selected user. You should then see the results under the selected user in the app. There is a guest user option if you don't want to record blood pressure readings into one of the user accounts. But another annoying little thing is that any users who use the device as a guest won't have their readings saved into the app, not even under a generic guest tab. Those readings are available only on the armband itself or on the device and they're not saved. So if you miss your readout or you want to write it down or you forgot, you are going to need to do it over again. Let's talk a bit about the app. There is good and bad in it. The good is that all your readings are stored inside. The bad is it's kind of hard to find them and that the app labeling isn't very intuitive. For example, you'll find the main user's last readings only on the main screen there, no one else's. To look at yours in more detail or to find another user's data, you need to go into the not helpfully labeled dashboard. Each user does live in there and you can swap between them. Your blood pressure lives further down and it will only show today's reading or the last measurement taken. To see more detail, click into that reading. Now let's talk about accuracy with this device. Withing says the BPM Connect has been thoroughly tested to ensure it gives you highly accurate results. While I don't have access to medical equipment to verify it, the readings seemed accurate for what I know about my own baselines. I also had several friends and family members test it, and most said the BPM Connect did line up with their usual levels as well. I also compared the heart rate taken by the BPM Connect to my Apple Watch, for example, and found that they are pretty much the same. Overall, there is a lot to like about the Withings BPM Connect. If you do need to monitor your blood pressure, the BPM Connect is a very easy, user-friendly DIY home option. The on-device readout gives you easy to read and understand information. Withings BPM Connect is very portable and you can comfortably use it in public without attracting a lot of attention. Plus the long lasting six month battery means that you won't have to worry about recharging it if you wanna take it traveling. Now I only spent about three weeks with the device so I can't yet say anything about the actual battery life or its longevity. When it comes to the downsides of this device, I think Withings could do a much better job at the multi-user experience. It would help to be able to manually reassign readings to other users and the process for swapping the users back and forth needs to be simplified in my opinion. It would also be nice if guest readings were available in the app as well. And I think the organization and labeling could be a bit more intuitive inside the app. Even so, I think this is a pretty good device for those needing to monitor blood pressure regularly and I can definitely recommend it for both technophiles and those without a major knowledge of technology. The Withings BPM Connect sells for about $99 US and you can get it from Withings website. If you want to read more about this device or reference any of what I talked about here in the video, head over to techgadgetscanada.com. I've posted a full blog and you can ask me any questions you have about this device either there on the blog or as always here on the YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.